The Earth's annual orbit around the solar system will carry it to its closest point to the Sun called perihelion, at a distance of 0.9833 astronomical units. If you ask most people what month of the year they think Earth is closest to the Sun, most people would probably say June, July, or August. But our warm climate has nothing to do with our distance from the Sun. Because Earth's axis is tilted 23.5 degrees, the amount of time the Sun is above the horizon varies from season to season. The tilt determines whether the Sun's rays hit us at a shallow angle or directly. The closest the Earth gets to the Sun is at perihelion, about two weeks after the December solstice. Because the Earth completes one revolution in this elliptical orbit each year, it makes its closest approach to the Sun on roughly the same day each year. In 2025, this date will be January 4th. Earth's distance from the Sun varies by about 3% throughout the year because its orbit is a slight ellipse. But in reality, this variation is fairly small because the Earth's orbit is nearly circular. The shape of this orbit changes due to the gravitational influence of other planets, especially the Moon. Approximately every 100,000 years, Earth's orbit changes from nearly circular to elliptical. The deviation of Earth's orbit from a perfect circle is called eccentricity. An eccentricity value of zero represents a circular orbit, while values between zero and one represent an elliptical orbit. Strictly speaking, this represents the moment when the sun appears larger in the sky than at any other time of the year, and when Earth receives the most radiation from the sun. But in reality, a 3% difference in the distance between the Earth and the sun is barely noticeable. Variations in weather throughout the year, for example between summer and winter, are caused only by the tilt of the Earth's axis, not by changes in its distance from the sun.